Testing the audio, we will begin stream soon. Pow! What's up, guys? A duck's opinion here. Let me make sure everything's good and we will start this stream. Just making sure the volume is good on the stream and my voice. Make sure you can hear the music plus me. Let me go ahead and find a nice little route for us to take. Now I want to start rambling about ways to improve and to be a better YouTuber. Hey Muffin Man, is everything sounding great on here? Mind it sounds good. Boom, I'm over in El Paso. Do you got anything in El Paso? <laughs> It's a Walmart order. <laughs> I don't want to do something too long. I'm, this is not going to be the longest stream ever. This one looks pretty decent. I mean, the price is kind of bad, but we're just kind of trying to pick up something. So, um, I um, have been watching a lot more YouTube videos. I've been trying to study YouTube and make it my priority to be a better YouTuber. And so I thought before we do the DuckCraft live stream later, I would do this American Truck Simulator live stream for about an hour, 30 minutes to an hour, and make some short clips and ramble about how, how I think I can improve being a YouTuber and how also other people can improve by being a YouTuber. I even made a list. <laughs> so do I assume that the... All right, I'm going to pick up my package too. Oh gosh, stop hitting random buttons. Me totally forgetting how to play this game has been like forever. <laughs> I ain't it. Radio. Yeesh. But yeah, everything is uh, going good so far. Man, how do you go in first person? I totally forgot. I ain't it. Mids V? V? Nope. Oh, me forgetting how to play this. <laughs> Oh no, I'll leave them broken hearted. There are so many, <laughs> so many controls on here. Eesh. Dang, you're prepared. Yeah, not at all. <laughs> Me forgetting how to do certain things on here. Oh well, we'll figure them out as we go. So, last night I ended up watching uh, that two hour, almost three hour, um, podcast with Mr. Beast and Lex Freeman and it was a really educational podcast and seeing how Mr. Beast is one of the most successful YouTubers out there if not the biggest if not the greatest I think taking his advice is important and he gave me a lot of good advice yesterday I'm gonna try my best to understand that advice I'm gonna get into that here today in this live stream. And uh, if anyone else in the chat has any suggestions on how to better, or any suggestions of what I'm talking about, I by all means would love to hear it. But we're gonna cover a couple subjects today. Hopefully make some shorts out of them and get some more um, American Truck Sim footage. It's been a minute since I <laughs> played this. That's how you do it. Hey Brittany. Where have you been? Huh? I've been playing other games. You've been hanging out with other girls? What? No, 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 Brittany. Brittany, you're my only girl. Why do you smell like cheap cologne? B baby, b baby, I promise you, I haven't been seeing another girl. This has been really busy. I've been trying to make it as a truck driver on YouTube. Uh-huh, sure. I'm leaving. Don't you get out that car. You stay right there, you good girlfriend. Ah, oh, women. <laughs> 
Yeah, I just wanted to zoom in so I could do that for a short. I don't know, people like when I do the voices sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's back our butt up. That is not Larry. See that guy? You see that guy in my passenger seat? He is a white man with a black shirt and bald head. My character over here is called White Guy Larry, but my face is in the way. I'm gonna move my face, whoop. And as you see, White Guy Larry has long white hair and a big beard. <laughs> All right, let's pick this up real quick, and I'll start getting on rambling about some stuff that I find interesting. You're gonna join me for a Duck Craft tonight, Muffin Man? We'll work on that Texas design more. <laughs> I still don't exactly know what I want to build tonight, but probably just continue my Adopt Me build. T. All right, and here we go. This is a 10-hour drive, so. <laughs> We'll see where we're at by the time I get done with this try, but I might end the stream after that. I'm just gonna make a few shorts for how to become a better YouTuber and hang out with some friends and see what happens. But um, being a YouTuber can be very discouraging. I will tell you one thing about that. Because for me, I've definitely wasted a lot of time doing YouTube my way instead of YouTube's way. There's been tons of times where YouTube's like, hey, try this, this, and this. I'm like, no. I just like posting my own videos, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. And me not listening has held me back for a decade on YouTube. And I think I'm finally going to start listening. <laughs> I think I'm going to start trying to focus on watching other videos, see what's trending, see why it's trending, and how to improve when it comes to everything from shorts to main videos to promoting myself and even to thumbnails, try to get better at every single angle. And I think that, I think that'll improve my channel. I think at least maybe by March, we can look back, and we can see if that improves the channel. And I'd love for you guys to like, subscribe, and to watch this journey with me. Because I think nothing would be more impressive than seeing me go from almost zero to successful on YouTube. And I know if I somehow figure it out and do it, anyone can do it. So yeah, that's what I'm focusing on. What else is left to build on the Adopt Me build? Well, almost everything. <laughs> so we got the circle part done on the Adopt Me build, which I do find to be good, because we need you know the layout done. But there's a hospital in Adopt Me, there's a message board, there is a um, pet wear place in Adopt Me. There's a whole bunch of buildings surrounding the middle that I want to make those buildings. And then they also have outskirt stuff that, my gosh, if I start working on that, we're gonna be really deep in duck craft by things. It's gonna take me a while to make the inside buildings, but so far, I just wanna make the, like, the inside buildings. I might work on trying to make some the message board kinda of today. I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off, and I might work on making the hospital, or at least figuring out where I'm gonna put them, because the island I put it on is a little small. We're gonna to have to expand that island, but there is so much stuff in the Adopt Me map to build and to keep working on. It is a huge project that I kinda of committed myself to. And don't get me wrong, at any moment I could take a break and just build something else for fun, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> I wouldn't mind making some Adopt Me sprites. It'd be pretty funny. Some of the pets, that's some sprites, made my fat cat again. It'd be cool. Alright, Brittany, you ready for this? Yeah. Are you gonna crash this time? No. You're getting kinda tired. Not, I'm not tired. I, I've, I've had a couple hours of sleep today. You stayed up till 4 o'clock watching YouTube videos. What? Yeah, I was watching that Mr. Beast video of Lex Freeman. I'm trying to figure out how to be a better YouTuber. Instead of working this dead-end job. I'm trying to be famous so I can support us. Uh-huh. Just because you're making a million dollars on your OnlyFans doesn't mean that I don't need to get bigger myself. I want to feel pride. I want to feel worth something. You're going to feel dead if you don't keep watching the road. Uh-huh, Brittany, I'm gonna make you drive later. Rude girl. Not me trying to make voices as many times as possible so I can make shorts for it. Oh, not me at all. <laughs> but that just is what I'm talking about. So I really feel... Oh my gosh, is there fog right now? Seriously? We might actually stop and have a nap because it is a lot of fog. Well, it's 6 a.m. Maybe it'll become morning soon. But I actually have a list of stuff I want to talk about. And, that, and that's part of it. Um, having some kind of idea 
or possibly a list of things that you want to talk about and go over when you're doing the videos, when you're doing streams. I think it's very important because I do like to just freestyle and I do think that's more natural and it's more like real, but also you just don't want to be talking about anything. If you're going to pick a subject, you might want to stick to that subject and spread out the subject as much as possible and hit every element of the subject. So definitely when it comes to YouTube, you want to have some stuff to discuss ahead of time, maybe trending stuff, maybe stuff you're into, maybe stuff your channel promotes, just anything to get the voice out there and to keep rambling and to keep people engaged. Well, he is a little tired. We're going to have to stop and give him some sleep. Now, um, give me a second to spit all this stuff out, Mr. Uh, <laughs> Muffin Man, because I'm not trying to crash. I am still trying to play this game, and this will be at least an hour live stream. So, there's a few parts we got to put together. I want to find a resting place for this guy, because, to be honest, Brittany was, Brit Brittany was right. My guy's tired. What did you say? Huh? huh? You said I was right? Yeah, I'm a bit tired. I yawned. It's very dark out here. I don't want to crash. I told you you need a nap. <sighs> yeah, I know, Brittany. But you, you say a lot of stuff. You know, you also say Dustin Fly likes to cry. I don't never said that. I don't even follow that channel. You don't even follow my own channel, Brittany? Seriously? I'm like the worst girlfriend blow-up doll ever. <sighs> Rude girl. So the first thing I actually wrote down on my list of uh, being a better YouTuber is, that's right, okay. So when it comes to YouTube, one of the things that I'm learning from Mr. Beast is you've got to work a bit harder on the YouTube videos. I've gotten to the point where my videos weren't getting any views as much as I would like. So I was like, well, I should just flood the channel and just make as many videos as possible and just not worry about the content. Just hit record, ramble a, a video, cut that stuff down and not even worry about thumbnails or nothing and just post that and I think that my videos and the views show that I really do think it shows that I didn't put much effort into it and it was done very quickly and that I think I need to put a little bit more effort into it and so that means doing stuff like taking a bit more time to maybe insert a couple more pictures to explain what you're talking about. Maybe putting in a silly emotes of like a, a new pet that might be coming out for Adopt Me or possibly just adding some nice free royalty music in the background so people can bump their heads along and to kind of maybe cut out the parts where you don't talk so you can always be getting directly to the point and not be wasting the viewer's time. And that's when I think it's very important to focus on making better videos. That's what I wrote. I said work a tad bit harder on the videos with thumbnails, catchy titles, sounds, pictures, anything you possibly can to really get those videos to look better. To when people actually do click on it, that they'll actually watch it and keep watching it. But one of the key things is how do you get people to click on it? And that's being smart about the thumbnails. And so you want to get a thumbnail that just makes people click on it. And you might make, make a thumbnail just as like, hey, new Adopt Me Pets, come check it out. Or you can make a thumbnail that's like, what are the new seven Adopt Me Pets? Like you really got to learn how to word it right and not clutter the thumbnail and have a really solid picture for the thumbnail to get people's attention. And I definitely think that was one of the biggest points Mr. Beast made in his Lex Freeman podcast. And I actually want to watch that podcast like a hundred more times. Because I think it's extremely important to what he said. Him being one of the biggest YouTubers out there, everything he said was just so spot on. I just can't stress enough that he's talked so much about um, working on thumbnails, working on the videos, and just growing your channel. And he said that he trained so many other people that just times 10 their channel just within a couple months taking his advice. So watching tons of videos, researching a lot of videos that are just famous, and that will really help progress in your YouTube channel. Hey, what's up, uh, Lucifer? Oh gosh, what did I do? Is Def here to take me? Oh no, I'm sorry. I didn't want to take the COVID vaccine. I just got scared. Am I about to have a heart attack? Oof, because you guys know what I'm talking about. I keep seeing people die suddenly and they keep blaming it on the COVID shot. I'm just so scared that I'm going to have a heart attack and die. <laughs> 
So, um, Mr. Muffin Man brings out another good point. He says, but um, doing gaming videos and doing stuff like Mr. Beast are two completely different things. You're right, and there also is a Mr. Beast gaming channel where he plays games that I could probably go look at and really study it, and you're right. Gaming is a very big platform. There are tons of people playing games and not making it at all. But granted, there's also tons of gamers that have succeeded by making tons and tons of games, and so it's really a mixed bag. You do want to step outside the box and be different and find your own lane, but sometimes that's really hard to do. Everyone wants to be a gamer and just play video games for a living, right? Of course it's the dream job, but I also feel that I've been doing it for so long, it's kind of what I'm known for, but I wouldn't mind stepping outside of the box and figuring out something different for a duck's opinion, but I really do love playing the games. I really do love helping people with it, showing off the new stuff. Like when that new Harry Potter game comes out, I have so many new plans for that. And I really do want to continue trying to be a gaming channel, but that doesn't mean I can't step outside of my box and do real life videos, do some silly stuff. Any ideas I can come up with, I think is important. Even if they've been done before, even if it's on older games, just trying to think outside of the box and doing more unique stuff and being more of a personality when you do the gaming videos, I think would really help. I miss your 3DS stuff. Very good point, Lucifer. You know the thing about the 3DS stuff is 3DS kind of died and they had the Switch and the Switch took over when it came to handheld. And for me, I've gotten into better quality gaming. I do love the Switch, but I hacked my Switch a year ago and I basically get most of the games for free, <clears throat> legal, illegal. But with me saying that, I still don't play my Switch because the games themselves, they're just so low quality. When it comes to them not being HD, when it comes to they can barely run 15 to 30 FPS half the time, and also when it comes just the graphics alone. Like the last game I played, I think it was that new Pokemon game, and I got halfway through it and I was just like, there's no voice acting here. The graphics look like it's an old N64 game. I'm just not into this. It looks terrible. I just dream of the day that Game Freaks actually leaves Nintendo and goes off to make a Pokemon game that's on Sony or something. Or maybe Nintendo license out their games because they either need to make a Nintendo Switch that's HD and like 60 FPS and maybe even 4K and really that next gen Switch or they need to start licensing out their stuff to people that can actually make high quality AAA games. Because honestly, Nintendo just isn't doing it for me anymore. But we did have a great time covering the 3DS stuff, and those were great moments. And that takes you back to what we were talking about, how so many people cover the same stuff in gaming. When it came to 3DS games, those were hard to c cover. You'd have to get a capture card or just take a video camera and put it out right in front of you and just record it, and it was rare to find good Switch videos because not a lot of people wanted to buy like a 3DS capture card or a Switch capture card or anything like that. So that is stepping outside of the box and making different content. And that really is important. <clears throat> you want to find that niche that a lot of people aren't doing. Even my daughter, for example, she watches this new guy that does VR games and he strictly covers VR games. And not a lot of people cover VR games properly because you have to hook up the VR to your, your computer, hook it up to some kind of stream to record the footage, plus have a camera to record yourself moving around in the VR, you have to have it completely set up. That takes a lot of patience and a lot of room to be proper, but if you do, it will be different and it will stand out among all the flood of all the gaming content that's already out. Content. So I think that definitely helps promote yourself and to be different. I think that's important if you're trying to grow on YouTube. Um, what happened to the TikTok? Um, the last TikTok account I had, the last five TikTok accounts I have, I have gotten banned. There's one thing I learned about TikTok and Reddit, you have got to be quiet. You have got to bite your tongue and just sit there and kind of be there for yourself. If you can't be basically 100% positive, and sometimes even when you're positive, you'll still get removed on those platforms. Those platforms are very biased, they're very do what they say, not what you want, and if you don't, they will remove you from that platform. And so I am going to make an ultra rare duck TikTok soon, I'm going to start posting all my clips on TikToks, and that brings up another good point of how to grow your channel on YouTube. So 
I'll address what you just asked in a minute, Lucifer. Let me go over this rant about the YouTube stuff. So if you want to grow your channel on YouTube, you've got to learn to do some aggressive expansion, just like the Joker said in The Dark Knight. Basically what I mean by that is every single platform has copied TikTok now. So you can go to Instagram and find Instagram Reels. Now if you post too many Reels, they'll like ban you for like 24 hours because you've done too much. I recently got that happen. So maybe you just post like four Reels a day on Instagram, maybe your best ones, and then post all your Reels on TikTok. Post all your Reels on Facebook. I heard that even Twitter is has it already or is coming out with videos. So that's five platforms, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. All five of those you could post the same exact Reels on and that's potentially five times the views, five times their promotion, and maybe one of them starts blowing up, you post a little bit more there, but getting your stuff out there and promoting it on different social medias other than YouTube really helps. And they also have a new platform called Rumble that I started posting on as well. And so none of that has blown up for me yet, but still doing that, starting that, and having that flow of posting everywhere consistently, I think will definitely help grow your YouTube channel. All right, so I've, asked, I've been asked this question before, and um, I would like to address it. Okay, it says, did you decide to go bald after Andrew Tate? Now, there's this, there's this uh, Twitch streamer who actually just got banned off stream. What is his name? I done forgot it. But he always hangs out with uh, Andrew Tate. He tries to act just like him. And just recently, he shaved his head. If you guys remember his name? Leave it in the comments below. But um, he shaved his head for Andrew Tate. And I will say, no. I did not shave my head for Andrew Tate. I personally would rather have long emo hair because that's why I see myself as. The reason I shaved my head is because I am, my hair's going thin and I can't afford hair implants. And so I was just like, screw it, I'm just gonna have my hair out and not care. But I have an ex-baby mama who's a very rude person. And the last few times I saw her without a hat on, she goes, oh wow, your hair's spinning, you're going bald. And she's very rude about it and it upset me to the point where I decided to shave my head and I am pretty happy and confident about it. I like having a shaved head. I got this little shaver that's really easy that I can just trim my head every couple of days. It's really simple and can be cleaned easy and doesn't make a mess. And so far, I'm digging it. So unless I get super famous and super rich and can afford hair implants, I'm gonna stick with the shaved head. And yes, it was Aiden Ross. But you know what? Me saying, oh, I forgot his name, leave in the comments below, is also good for YouTube because I'll inspire people to leave comments below and to say it's Aiden Ross. But yeah, you know, I like Aiden Ross too, man. I wish I was as famous as him and was able to hang out with Tate and have that experience. Because I think that's another important thing with YouTube is learning what works and what doesn't. Because that's how Mr. Beast said he made it. That dude's only like 23 and he's a billionaire he's super popular he has tons of subscribers he's the biggest dude on youtube and he's 23. you know what i was doing at 23 i was playing rock shows skateboarding you know doing nothing nothing making no money at all doing nothing so I man didn't have no kids back then or nothing so the fact that he's doing all this at his early age is crazy and he said it himself what he did was he studied youtube he studied what makes it he studied the algorithms he studied the the percentages and everything that YouTube offers you to grow and he studied everyone what was making it why were they making it? and eventually it just clicked on his head to where he did it naturally he started looking at thumbnails and he could tell which ones looked the best he started approaching videos on how he could plan them out the best and he kept growing in his mind of how to be a better youtuber and became the best youtuber in the world and proofs in the pudding you gotta sit there and study this stuff. You gotta make this your life. If you want to be a big YouTuber, that has to be your goal. Are you gonna be making YouTube videos in the next 10 years? Ask yourself that question. Are you, you wanna get into like making movies, writing strips? It's important to understand where you wanna be. There's some cops out here. Uh-oh, -uh, what are y'all doing? That reminds me of a video I made of how I think they should have some cops DLC. To where if you want, you can turn it on and if you're speeding down the highway, the cops can be like whoop, whoop, and they could chase you and that adds to another DLC idea I had where big crashes could happen where it could ruin your semi you crash into other cars and completely ruin your run to where it'd be like you crashed you're gonna have to pay this fine and start over and I think that really adds to the realistic view of this game 
But I love this game though. You can play on easy mode, turn everything off, turn crashes, turn fuel, turn sleep off, and just play on easy mode. Or you can play on hardcore mode where you turn the you know crashes on, you turn the gas on, the sleeping on. You even have to stop at red lights or um, yeah, red lights and stuff like that. And so I like that this game. You can play at your own leisure pace. It's really good to live stream. It's really fun to relax and ramble. Um, my buddy Lucifer asked me, have I ever played um, Jincha Impact? You know, my friend Ducky asked me to play that and I should cover it, she said. But it was such a big game that I did download it, but then I never played it and I ended up deleting it because I needed to make room for another game. Do you actually think that game will do good on my channel? Do you think maybe I should try to live stream it? Because I will say last night I covered a game that I've never played before called One Piece. And even though the views are about the same, I got more likes on that video than I've recently got on any live stream video recently. So there were more people coming in and being engaged. And I don't know if that's because I had a nice girl with big boobs on the thumbnail, or if it was because it was the new trending game. So I'm not sure. We might download it again. We might give it a look. We'll see what happens. Let me know what you think. Would it make an impact on my channel? Maybe. Maybe we'll cover it this week. Although it is a very big game. They can need like 100 gigabytes to install it and then it takes up like 60 gigabytes. <laughs> Well, I agree, Muffin Man. Definitely setting goals for yourself really helps. I mean, to be honest, my goal that I have for myself is way, way too big. But I feel if you have, like, beginning small goals and then, like, bigger goals, it might help. But my bigger goal is to get over 100k subscribers because I really want the YouTube plaque. I really want the YouTube plaque. I really don't think subscribers matter as much as views, but I just... I really love that plaque so much. I've been working for 15 years on YouTube. It would be one of the biggest achievements in my life to get that plaque. And so not only that, I would also like to be able to make anywhere between five to $10,000 off YouTube. Now I know that sounds insane, but that is kind of normal for big YouTubers. And when you're looking at bigger goals, that's my bigger goal. But when we're talking about smaller goals, I would like to try to reach a couple thousand views on each video I post and also go ahead and break that 40k and that 50k subscribers because it took us forever to go to 33k to 34k but I have seen improvements and I want to keep pushing I want to study harder and keep pushing to make those small goals possible so I can make those big dreams a reality yeah I definitely think making bigger titles help like you said muffin man like i tried some of that with some of my shorts like i just use all caps and be like youtuber gets upset and rages on twitter but that didn't even get that many views i noticed i think it's really really has to do with what your audience wants to see and i think that is something that really i have been dropping the ball on and i've been failing on from on youtube i've been coming on here and just posting what i want to do what i think is going to be good and my opinion on stuff can be biased I need to think outside the box and not do stuff that I want to do, but look at stuff that my audience will want to watch. Now I find it hard to even know what my audience is, but I assume they're kids that like to just hang out and watch and play YouTube games and stuff like that. So I really might need to focus on what kids like to watch when it comes to gaming, such as, like Lucifer said, maybe people want to see a gishing impact, however you say it. Maybe they want to see the new trending games. I think it's important to really focus on that, see what works, see what doesn't, and either move on from a game or continue playing a game, depending on what your audience wants. But learning your audience is important, but also getting an audience to learn is also important. I have 34 inactive subs here that hardly watch anything I do, so it's real hard for me to understand what my audience is because I covered so much. I'll have some people from COD days that just want to see me play Call of Duty. I have a couple fans that just want to see me play the 3DS stuff that I'll probably never cover again. And then I might even have some new people in here. But I personally, I want it to be just an influencer that does everything and people just like me for me. You know what I mean? They're like, hey, we like watching everything he does because he's a really cool guy. The way he talks is really awesome. I like hanging out and the way he communicates with his subs. And I was hoping to do that. That might not be the route I need to take. I might need to stick with a certain game, and I might need to be a bit more careful on what I cover. So we'll see. I'm going to try to learn from that, take some advice from people, 
try some new things, and not get in a crash with a semi. You guys almost you saw that? Almost got in a crash. He stopped his car totally. Yeesh. This game's dangerous when you're not focusing. Don't say it. You hit that car. I didn't hit that car. It was really close, but I didn't. I was rambling. You need to stop looking at your phone while you're driving. Okay, you're right. Okay, but I just got this new game on there called Survivor iOS or whatever. And it's a really fun zombie game. So I, I like stayed up all night playing it. I know. That's why you're tired. You're messing up. That's why you're crashing. Brittany, I'm about to make your drive. If you don't stop, you're either going to end up on the side of this road, which I don't want, because you'll just hit, hitchhike and you'll probably get in danger, or you won't start driving. I'm tired of hearing your mouth, young lady. It's hard to get Laurel viewers that stay a man, because you got to think about it. If um, someone subscribed, say, two years ago, like, they're, especially if they're young, their views and outlook on what they want to watch and what they're entertained can completely change. And if you're a type of YouTuber that stays in one type of game, like, they'll get bored of that game probably and they might move on to something different and they don't want to follow that YouTuber anymore, but they'll still say sub, but they just won't watch any of the videos. So I think it's really important to, you know, keep your audience engaged. But also I'm really noticing, man, as much as I do want to grow on subscribers, subscribers almost at this point don't matter. Let me ask you, how often do you go to your subscription feed on YouTube? Or is it the recommended stuff that YouTube gives you? Because more than likely, people don't go to subscriptions anymore like they used to back in the, like five years ago. Back in five years ago, you could sub to people, you'd go to your, your feed and see all the people you sub to. But nowadays, it's all about the YouTube recommendations. It's all about the videos you previously watched, the videos you previously liked. And I know some people, like myself, if, if I don't want a certain video in my feed and I see a video that I might be interested in, I won't click on that video because I don't want to be spammed in my feed by that person's videos. And so that's really what it's turned into. So you got to really capture your audience and get them to come watch your videos with catchy thumbnails and like the video so it ends up in their feed and they can start being fed your content. YouTube has changed a lot in these few years and i got to keep up with the times. Yeah, um, um, I have been told a lot of times to do Discord, and I do need to learn how to do Discords more, but every time I try to do something like that, I end up making some kind of little area for our fans, but it just ends up going nowhere, you know, it just ends up no one joins it and stuff like that. I mean, it's the same with social media, it's so hard to run so much stuff at once. Because I mentioned before, we need to possibly post everything on Twitter, we gotta post everything on Facebook, and there's like six social medias that you could just post everything on, but you also need to keep up with those social medias to keep them going. And to be honest, keeping up with six and seven social medias, that's an all day's work right there. And if you're not already making a living off YouTube and you have other jobs, you have kids, you have responsibilities, it's gonna be very difficult to do that. And so you might wanna just kinda of take the ones that are going the best and try to work hard on those and then kinda of just kinda of post the videos here and there on the other ones that aren't and really focus on the ones that are growing kind of focus less on the ones that aren't growing because you're only a human you only have so many hours in the day and honestly I don't have a big crew behind me to help do this and it's only me so I really got to focus oh my gosh I just missed a turn I really got to focus on what I'm doing don't say it you missed the turn I, I missed the turn you're about to get in a wreck no oh yeah it looks like I am about to get in a wreck oh there's so many cars on this road hmm don't do it. What do you mean? Don't do it. You, you, you see my idea? I think there's a cutting up here. Can I just kind of circle back around? You're gonna get in a crash. Oh man, no, I'm thinking maybe maybe I can turn around here. You're gonna get in a crash. <laughs> Come on, Brittany, it's not that bad. Oh, it's not even open over here. Oh man. Oh, oh, yep, yeah, y'all didn't see that. What are you doing? I missed the turn. You're gonna get us killed. No, it's fine. Be quiet, Brittany. There's a truck there. I'm gonna be okay. Uh, am I stuck? Oh, no. No, I'm not stuck. No, we got this. You're the worst driver ever. Whatever. You're the worst girlfriend ever. I can leave. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry, Brittany. I'm sorry. I love you. Okay, we figured it out. No harm's done. I'll get you some Waffle House in a little bit. Let's not crash into this truck. 
and we'll continue on our way. <laughs> to a Mickey Mouse voice. You know, I actually sing this song called uh, Come On, Let's Dance Together. Every time I have my kid, it's like one of our bedtime songs. And I definitely have to do kind of like a Mickey Mouse impression. But I like the South Park Mickey Mouse impression. Like the ones like, oh, how are you guys doing today? Oh, huh, Jonas Brothers, are you making me that money? Are you wearing your purity rings? Ha ha ha. Like I always thought that, I thought the South Park nailed the Mickey Mouse. They nailed it. It's totally, totally funny. So let me check the time. We've been live streaming for 30 minutes and I appreciate everyone that stopped by and liked the video. I think we've been rambling really well about being a better YouTuber and I like to go over some more stuff on my list because I've only went over one thing and there's five things on my list. So the next thing that I wanna talk about, this one's personal, it's about myself. I've, I've developed a bad habit of hating on people that are doing better than me. And I'm at such a low standard in my life that everyone does better than me. And I'll admit it, I was the type of person that would hate on Petey, Petey Pie, I would hate on Mr. Beast because they're popular and they would do better than me and I was jealous. I can admit that. Now, I spent a good half of the decade being this way and I'll tell you why it's wrong. It's wrong not only to hate people because they're famous, it's wrong because instead of hating these people, I should have been studying these people. I should have been listening to these people because they're successful for a reason. They didn't just get lucky. They didn't just, oh man, Mr. Beast is lucky. No, he isn't lucky. He worked his ass off on studying YouTube and studying how it works and he figured it out. And studying these people, watching these videos and seeing why they're famous instead of being a hater is one of the most important things I'm going to learn if I'm going to grow. You will not grow your channel complaining all the time. You will not grow your channel being a hater and talking trash about bigger pages for no reason. Now there are channels that create drama, that have big opinions about celebrities, that can get bigger. Miss Pearly Things is one of those channels. But just hating stuff and fully ignoring it and not seeing why it's big is a huge mistake that we've got to stop doing on this channel. And I've committed to do that. I'm committed to going, hey, instead of hating that person, I'm going to see why that person's famous, why that person's making it on YouTube, and how I can change my YouTube to start doing better and making it myself. I think that's very important to stop the hate and more focus on why they're becoming so big. I think that's very important. So I'm definitely going to do my best to um, not be a hater. But yeah, it's like Muffin Man said, there's definitely people out there that make a living just hating on people. Like they'll like anime, like some popular character of him doing some really sketchy stuff. And I guess that can be funny sometimes, but when it comes to just hating a content creator because they're more famous than you, which I have been doing for years, that is not the way to do it. I've got to grow up and grow out of that or I'm gonna become some old man just hating on everything, no audience. That's not what I wanna be. I wanna be a part of this. I wanna be the future of this. I wanna succeed, make my mama proud and just make my kids proud. I wanna be the next success story that people look up to. I want to look back in a few years and be telling my success story and how I did it and helping other small pages like I am now grow. That's my dream and I want to nail it. I really want to do it. I'm really passionate about it. I'm going to study everything I can. I'm going to try to change and think outside the box and not focus more on how I feel about it but more focus on what's really going on in YouTube and how to better myself and make better videos. Lucifer asks, what's your favorite game of all time? That is the hardest question in the world. It's a beautiful question, but my gosh, what is the first thing that comes to mind when you say that? It definitely, in my opinion, needs to be an open world game. I say that because there are a lot of good games out there, but open world games can basically keep you interested longer, interested after you beat the game, and interested even once you 100% it because the world can be so alive. But to just name one game is very difficult, but how about name one series? I definitely love the Grand Theft Auto series. We've covered it. It's one of our biggest videos of how to like the, the like strip club and stuff. And also games like Minecraft. Minecraft is a very timeless game that with mods and with updates and with texture packs that you can almost play forever. So games like Grand Theft Auto series, games like Minecraft, stuff like that is definitely on the list of my 
top favorite games of all time. What are your favorite games, Lucifer? What do you like to play? Um, Payday 2, says Muffin Man, is his favorite game. I like Payday 2, but um, I also feel that it was very kind of linear, and it was just kind of about Robin stuff. I feel like I'd get bored of that after a while, but also say that I didn't play a lot of Payday 2. I, pay, I played the Goat Simulator Payday version, but that's more of a multiplayer game, and it's really hard for me to get a group of people that I can trust to play multiplayer games. Ooh, that was close. So Payday 2 wasn't something I played a lot. That's really cool though, man. That's definitely, uh, you said that right away. You knew what your favorite game was right away. But I'm a huge gamer. I love all sorts of games. It's hard to just pick one. Had a big crash here. Oh my gosh. It actually looked pretty detailed, that crash. You almost got in a crash. What, in front of that guy with the wood? Yeah, I did almost hit him there. I mean, I didn't see that coming. I was rambling. You need to focus on the road. We don't need to focus on those lists. We only got like another 20 minutes of this live stream. I got a whole bunch more stuff to talk about. It's not important. I think it's important to help people become bigger YouTubers, help myself grow. It's very important to just attack it at all angles. Whatever. You get in a wreck and mess up my makeup, I'm leaving you. Uh, you know what? You're my blow-up doll. You're not going nowhere. You don't even move your head. You're attached to that seat forever. And I can change girls too. I can make you a different girl. If you leave, We'll get someone else. Whatever, drop me off right here. Nope, you're staying in this car. We're driving this fog. You're being good, Brittany. <laughs> well, yeah, that's another good example. Like you said, uh, Muffin Man says he loves the game, but he's kind of pissed they don't um, update the consoles. But um, how old is really Payday 2? Like, I know I saw a trailer maybe a month ago for a new Payday game. So I really don't see them really ever updating that game. You know, once the game runs its course, it runs its course. But I'm sure they have a good modding community. But are you excited for the new Payday? So I saw some kind of trailer. I think they were in New York or something. And like zoomed out and was like, Payday. And it was kind of more of a teaser. But it looked interesting. I sometimes can be really discouraged because I sometimes feel like I try so much stuff and like no matter what I try that it just doesn't get seen. I just get the same three or four viewers every time I come here and no one new addresses the channel. I know there's a lot of people doing live streams, there's probably a thousand people even doing a live stream of this game right now and it can be very difficult to break out. But sometimes I feel like I'm shadow banned too and I hate the concept of shadow banning. Like, if you did something wrong on YouTube or social media, they should give you an email, a contact, a warning, going, hey, you did this wrong, but the idea of shadow banning is that they ban your content and don't let other people see it without telling you. So you could be working your butt off trying to be the best YouTuber out of you, you could be improving, you could be making better videos and just keep posting, and then you're shadow banned and you just, you'll never be seen, no matter what kind of video you post. I feel like that is absolutely toxic for the creators. It ruins your self-esteem, and then you don't know what's wrong, and you sit there and you're posting constantly, and it just makes people give up. They don't even know they're shadow banned. So I think shadow banning is completely terrible, and if that really is something that YouTube does, and I've been in some kind of YouTube trash bin for like the last five years where no one watch anything I post because YouTube shadow bans me, that's gonna suck. And I have no clue how you would even see if you're shadow banned or how you didn't get out of said trash can or said shadow banning. It's a very, very sketchy subject and a very sketchy thing that YouTube does and other social medias do. Shadow banning is terrible. Um. So I got asked, what's the best type of cheese? Now that, my friend, is a good random question. <laughs> so I think the type of cheese depends on what you're using the cheese for, okay? So if you're using a sandwich, sometimes I would like to do maybe a piece of Swiss cheese, and a white, maybe some white cheese, the white craft cheese, or maybe a basic yellow cheese, right? But then again, if we're talking about cheese, we're gonna dip in some nachos, it all depends on the place. Now, Tijuana Flats, they have a really good yellow cheese. I love their yellow cheese, but they also have a white cheese, and I think their white cheese is very bland. So if I go to Tijuana Flats, their yellow cheese all day. Now, 
if I go to somewhere like La Nops, La Noparero, which is like a Mexican restaurant, they have a really good white cheese. It's a really good flavor, a really good texture, and every time I go there, we definitely get the white cheese over any other cheese. And so if it comes to what's the best cheese, La Nops or Tijuana Flats, oof, that's hard. They're both very, very good. But I think that would make a unique video to go to both the places, get some cheese and nachos, to come back here and to review both places, cheese and nachos, and also maybe even review other food places. And I think that might be a bit step out of the box of doing different things besides gaming YouTube channels. I think uh, we should look into that because I go to those places at least a couple times a month. So maybe just kind of record a couple of videos and meet some cheese and talking about it, seeing where that goes. Very good question, man. You have any more questions? Please let me know. Thanks for stopping by the stream and saying hi to us in the comments. I really appreciate that. And to be honest, I haven't tried any more cheese besides basic artificial American cheese and cheese dips. Maybe I do need to try some more different unique cheeses. How many chickens would it take to kill an elephant? This guy is coming with the real questions. These are the serious how to make it on YouTube questions. I have no clue how many chickens would kill an elephant. I don't think an elephant... I don't think chickens could kill an elephant. I think that if maybe... If maybe the... Hmm... If maybe the elephant ate too many chickens, he could choke to death. If maybe you're in a room and you filled the whole room with chickens, he could suffocate. You know, he'd be all crammed in there. But if it's just like one-on-one -on -one chickens pecking an elephant, I don't think they could kill an elephant, to be honest. <laughs> Wow, talk about an amazing question. I think we're really close to dropping this, um, this load off. But we still have about 15 more minutes till the stream ends. Appreciate anyone that stops by. And I'd like to cover the final last questions I have on this stream that I wrote down. Let me go look at them real quick. You know, I actually, I actually covered most everything on this list. I had the work harder on the videos with the thumbnails, the stop hating, learn from the big YouTubers, look at what's trending. If you want to work on your thumbnails, you want to see what's trending in gamings, how their trending thumbnails are looking and how they set them up, I think it's really important. And then I also mentioned post everywhere, you know, including Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, get your content out in as many platforms as you possibly can. And I have like another little row here that says other things to do better. And I, I mentioned that you could possibly post on other people's famous videos, but without trying to flood. And also when you post, I noticed that if you post links, that's a real good trigger of getting your post removed. So if you could possibly just like post, hey, I love your video, it's really cool. I make content like this too. If you could check it out, give me some advice. And I think posting stuff like that on famous Twitter posts, posting stuff like that on Mr. Beast, posting stuff like that on YouTube videos might actually help. And that goes to another thing Muffin Man said with creating a Discord, having a community that you can talk to about it and bounce ideas off of is also extremely important. So bounce those ideas off of people, whether that's Reddit, whether that's Reddit Twitter, a Discord, having those ideas bounce around with your community is very important. So I actually might start that Discord. That's very, very a good idea. And also working with other YouTubers that are around your same subs and around your same views. Now it's really hard because I've been actually like leaving comments like, hey, can I work with you? Or hey, can we make YouTube videos together? And I will tell you, most of them will not reply. Most of them will not look at it. Most of them are on their own lane doing their own thing. But finding people that want to collab, that maybe want to do podcasts together, maybe want to play some games together, that can really help grow both the channels and also understand what kind of audience you have. All right, for the last 10 minutes, I would like to open up the chat to anyone watching right now that has any questions for me, any advice for me. It can be random questions. It can be even hate, anything you think I might need to improve, anything that you might think was bad about this live stream. Do you think my webcam quality sucks? Do you think I should have a green screen behind me and have some crazy unique stuff? What do you think? I do actually think I should get a better webcam because the one I have right now isn't really that great. It can only be a certain feed. It's not HD. I can't do anything with it. If I touch it, it likes to freeze a lot. That's why it's up here on my uh, on my monitor. So, guys, have any advice, stuff like that? We will try to grow. 
I want to try to put back any money that I make in YouTube. I want to put it back into the channel somehow. I know that's what Mr. Beast does, but he makes videos that actually cost money. You know, my videos are gaming videos, so it's a bit hard to put the money back into the channel. But if I can maybe promote any way possible, get a better webcam, get better mic, get better footage, anything possible to just do better would be awesome. So let me know in the comments below if you got anything to say, any criticism. And uh, we're going to get out here in about 10 minutes. We're going to jump out of here at 3 o'clock. It's been a fun live stream, though. Appreciate everyone that stopped by. I think we have a lot of shorts that we're going to cut down from this that could help people become better YouTubers. And that's what I want to do. I want to help people grow along with myself. If we can grow together as a community, grow together as people, and become better on YouTube together, I think that's going to be a key to our success. Don't say it. You just had to pull in. Don't say it, Brittany. I know I just had to pull in. Trying to trying to make this perfect here. Right, there it is. See, I did it. Okay, didn't get in a crash. Everything's great. Okay, you did great. Thank you. You want to go to Waffle House now? Yeah, I want to go Waffle House. Okay, let me put this load down. We did it, and then we'll go get you some, some waffles. <laughs> How can I donate? That's a very nice question. I do appreciate that. Um, liking and subscribing and watching the videos is amazing but we also have a tip button down there you can click the little tip button you can you can tip a couple dollars you can also tip literally in the chat there's a little money icon right down at the bottom screen you can tap it and you can have a super chat that will highlight your message if you tip like a dollar and you can add like a super sticker with an animated image and those are also ways you can um donate and tip in the live stream now um i actually haven't had anyone tip in over a year in the live stream but uh it would be awesome to start getting bigger and actually have some really amazing people tip and ask me some really amazing questions because you know that stuff's really there for if you're getting to be a bigger youtube and you have so many people here and the chat's so flooded you can't really keep up with that but the people that are really wanting to ask more questions and the people that really want some information can tip and then their question will be like highlighted and you can read it and stuff like that so I think that's pretty pretty awesome that we even have that option to tip now. Because only on this channel I have that option to tip. My other channels don't have monetization on them yet, so I can't do any of that stuff yet. So this is definitely the channel to do it on, and I appreciate you asking about it. Tipping isn't available in your region. Really? What is your region? Are you not in the USA? I can understand maybe if the money's a bit different, if you're like in the UK or like a different country, it could probably be a bit different. But that sucks that it's not available in all regions. <laughs> like I said, though, watching my videos, liking them, and checking out the ads that are on them also really help the page grow. And sharing the page on your own social media, sharing videos that you like that might have find helpful, definitely helps us grow and keeps this channel alive. And I appreciate anything. From you liking the videos, you commenting on the live stream, from you tipping, from you sharing it, anything to help promote this channel, you're awesome. All right, let's sleep in this uh, raggedy hotel. I want to go to the Holiday Inn. Br Brittany, the Holiday Inn is $600 a night. This is $15. There's no one's gonna show up. We can just sit here in front of the truck, it'll be fine. I'm so sick of you treating me bad. I have an OnlyFans, I can get my own hotel. Listen, we'll stay here tonight, I'm tired, and then tomorrow we'll go to a more fancier hotel. Ah, fine, but you better buy me two waffles. Girl, you can't even eat two waffles. I'm gonna save one for the morning. <sighs> Women. <laughs> I actually think it'd be an amazing DLC if you can get out the truck, walk over to the hostess, and be like, hey, I want a hotel, and then pay for a hotel, go into your room, and sleep. I know that might be a little too much, but I wish if they would add, add that, they would add being able to go pump your own gas and go into the store and get snacks, and maybe going into the dealership and getting new cars. They could just add a few things like that, it would make the immersion of The Sims so much better if you can get out and be actual Larry and be your own character. I think that'd be so cool to do in the game. I'm from Ukraine. Ooh, man. I am so sorry that you're living in Ukraine because, like, hopefully you're in a safe spot. But every single day, I hear about somebody getting nuked, someone dying in Ukraine because of the war and all this stuff going on, so I really hope you're in a safe place, man. That's a very scary thought, you know, to have to be in a country in the middle of a war. So 
so like I couldn't imagine. Like I just heard recently there's a missile strike. I don't know if it's I don't know if it was at Ukraine or if it's at the other people, but it was a missile strike and it like destroyed a whole apartment building. Killing innocent people. There were other kids, there were adults just killing innocent people and that's just absolutely terrible. So that sucks. Yeah, the Ukraine and Russia stuff. Like, you know, I don't really study it. I don't 100% know about it. But I know it's all messed up. And I know Putin needs to really, really need to stop. <laughs> Go back to sleep. I don't want to be a... Uh... Alright, that's better. Okay, it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> we're going to get some gas. And then we're going to hop off this live stream. Like I said before, I appreciate everyone that stopped by. This uh, did go pretty well. I was able to say everything I wanted to say. We had a lot of good people come by. We had um, at least about seven viewers watching us. And I just want to I want to throw this out. If you guys want to play something with me and be more interactive, here in about three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, here in about six or seven hours at nine o'clock, we're gonna do another live stream for about two hours. We're gonna play Minecraft. And uh, basically, if you guys want to come on and join us, we have this series called Duckcraft. And we basically just build whatever we want, and we, we build awesome stuff, and I show off what the community has built. And we just have a great time being part of the community and playing, enjoying a game. So if you guys want to stop back by, we will be covering Minecraft at 9 o'clock tonight, 9-ish, when I get off work. And that's going to be a great time. I've been working on an Adopt Me map. And I'm building the Adopt Me map, and that's going to be really fun. But if you want to come on and build something else, I would love to see it. I need to find a dealership on here, because my car is a little bit busted. <laughs> we also hit 10 likes. It's pretty good. We hit 10 likes yesterday, too, and I was uh, really impressed, because it's, uh, it's the most likes we've gotten in a good amount of time. So either there is some growth, and I'm doing something correct, or people really like the uh, How to Become a Better YouTube series, which I wouldn't mind keep going because I want to document all this because what if I do end up making it? People might want to study this stuff. Now what if I do end up making like 10 grand a month and having over 100k subs? People want to come back and maybe look at the history of how that happened. And when you look at it right now when we're only getting kind of less than like 40 views on live streams, only getting about 9 or 10 likes and you know not getting that many views and I can somehow change that, I think it'd be an amazing success story that people would love to look back on and study and see how they can be successful too. I would love to get there. I would love to make it. I'm going to put everything I have into this year trying to make it and I will fail. I will succeed. We will learn from our failures and we will grow and I welcome you to join us for the ride. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's three. This hour, this hour has been so fun. I love every single one of you guys for stopping by. I want to repair my car. How much is this going to cost? 2000 is not that much. Boom. Repaired. Everything's done. We're looking great on Truck Sim. And maybe we'll cover this game again soon because I love playing this game. It's super fun. But um, I'm going to be jumping off. And uh, that sucks you can't join the live stream. I imagine that 9 o'clock here is a lot later for you there. But I appreciate you joining this one. And I want to try to do more afternoon videos like this so the people that can't join at night can join now. <laughs> So uh, let's go over everyone that stopped by. I'd like to thank everyone that liked the video. I really appreciate that. I would like to thank, um, was that Danielle for stopping by? For Daniel, either way, I'm sorry if I got your name wrong. I'm not the best of names. Lucifer, thank you for keeping the chat alive. Muffin Man, one of my favorite subscribers that are always stopping by. You rock as well. Also saw someone named James who said they gave it a thumbs up. I appreciate you stopping by and giving it a thumbs up as well. You guys rock. Anyone that stopped by and helped, appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. But what's up? It says, wait, you have anything else to say before I go? I'm listening. What's up? Might drive back to the shop. I'll give you a second to ask that question, and I'll drive back to the shop, and then we'll jump off. The next time I play this game, I want to be at a shop, so I can pick up, like, an order there. Like, I don't... I mean, you can you can either drive to the shop pick up your order if you do one far away, or you can teleport, which costs money. But I like picking up stuff that's close by. <laughs> um, I don't know who that is. <laughs> um, what do I think about Maria somebody? I'm not sure who that is, sadly. So I don't really know how to answer that question. 
Maybe I should look up who that is. Is, that, is, she, is she important? Is she? Oh my gosh! Uh, don't say it. The live stream's over. It doesn't matter. It says it's saving. Well, it's saving me crashing. You see this rain effect right now on the window right now? I can't see. It's very dangerous out here. You ran a red light. Oh, okay. Okay, I ran the red light. Okay, but I have traffic turned off. Like, so, so I don't get in trouble for running red lights. But the traffic's still turned on. You can still get in a wreck. You know, he left. I only got 1% damage. I think we're, uh, we're doing just fine. Brittany's always complaining. All right, so three more questions. I'm gonna jump off. I don't know who that person specifically is, but I might look it up when you leave just to see what you're talking about. Maybe we'll discuss it when I come back tonight for the Minecraft live stream. So in six hours, we'll be back. We're gonna do a Minecraft live stream, which is called Duckcraft. It's gonna be very pretty. We're gonna have all the RTX stuff on. I have damaged my car so much. We're gonna be doing a cool texture pack. We're gonna be working on the Adopt Me map that I've been building, but if you wanna stop by, you can work on anything you want to work on, and we'll show it off to you on the stream. It's going to be awesome. She's the most beautiful woman of 2022. Is that the one where it's actually a guy dressed as a woman and they're actually women? Because we live in such weird times right now where men are playing in women's sports, and I don't think that's fair at all. Men are on all the covers of women's magazines. Sports Illustrated think unhealthy people should be on the cover of the magazines. And the stinking... America's beauty pageant is run by a dude dressed up as a girl. Stuff's crazy. I'm not going to insult them, but I really think people shouldn't like pretend to be women in competitions because of the fact that women work their ass off on that stuff. Women go for years and years and study in all their life to become like, you know, the best swimsuit model, the best this and that. And to be just having a time where a man can dress up as a woman and take that from them when that's some of the only thing women have and they study for all their life to become a gymnast and to have some dude come and just take that from them just because they wanted to be a woman that year and they couldn't make it as a man is wrong. And we need a president that could stand up to that, not Joe Biden. All right, um, last question goes to Muffin Man before I get off. I appreciate you guys trying to keep me on with all these questions. But I need to go to work in real life. I'll come back from Minecraft. My voice hurts too. Who is your celebrity crush? One second. I'll try to make this a video here. <clears throat> so Muffin Man, Matt, Muff, <clears throat> another reason why I need to stop. I'm getting a bit tired stuttering my words. Muffin Man asks, who is your celebrity crush? And so my celebrity crush it is, Muffin Man, why you gotta ask this in front of my girlfriend? You know she's gonna, what, what are you talking about? Nothing. I was asking what my favorite celebrity crush is. Well, who is it? Um, um, well, Muffin Man says he loves 1998 Britney Spears. You can do it by date? We can do it by, like, what year it was? <laughs> I'm going to say Miley Cyrus, probably. She is the one that consistently I've been kind of crushing on because you're going to be like, oh, yeah, Jenny Ortega because she's in Wednesday. I've only just known about her. But I know consistently I've followed Miley Cyrus for years and has been really into her through her crazy phases, through her ratchet tattoo phases, through her growing out armpit hair phases, through her shaving her head phases. I still thought she was pretty crazy and she'd be a heck of a girl to date, I'll tell you. It'd be a heck of a lifestyle. So I guess the answer is Miley Cyrus. <laughs> and I'll say this year, okay, did you see the new Flowers video? It's number one on all their charts right now. And for 30, she's looking banging. <laughs> so that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be having another live stream today around 9-ish at night, around 6 or so hours, and we'll be doing Minecraft. Thank you guys so much for watching. Dust can fly. Like and subscribe. Love all you guys for stopping by. Be safe out there. Have a great day. And we'll talk to you guys later. Peace. six or so.